guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectible. So we're super excited today because we're going to be reviewing a brand new Papo item and it's this guy. It's the Tupawara. Now we've been really looking forward to this one because in contrast to the giant young Apatosaurus model which we recently reviewed, we've also got this tiny little pterosaur which actually in real life would have been pretty big, would have grown up to 17 feet in wingspan. So that's a pretty large pterosaur. So let's crack on and get him out of his packaging. So the Tupawara comes in this handy little plastic base and that just keeps him from warping or breaking in transit. So we'll break him out of his little tray. So here is the Tupawara out of its packaging and we were lucky enough to get a sneak peek of this one at the Toy Fair 2015. And what stunned us was the level of detail packed into such a small figurine. If I bring in my hand, you can see how small this figure is and yet how much detail it boasts. The other noticeable thing is the asymmetric pose. You can see that one arm is coming down this side and on the other side, the wing is lifted up. So it's a really nice contrasted pose really dramatic and looks fantastic on the shelf. So let's take a closer look. Papo are absolutely incredible at packing in insane amounts of detail and with this Tupawara they have done it again. Just look at that head sculpt. Wow. Just looks absolutely fantastic. So much fine detailing going on there and the paint job is just incredible. Just look at that beady eye, fantastic. And to give you some idea how big this is, here's my thumbnail, and uh, that eye is microscopic, wow. Now the inside of the mouth has been sculpted and painted in several shades of pink. And they've also used this very sort of translucent plastic all over the body. You get this very flesh-like looking appearance, which I think is really, really important and definitely sells the lifelike appearance of this Tupawara. So as we move down the neck, you can see there's some lovely creases going on under the neck there. And as we move down the neck, lovely variation in the paint job. I love this dash of blue around the eye, really, really nice. And then as we move down to the shoulder area, some really fine creasing going on over the shoulders as we move down the arm. Lovely paint job, looks very, very naturalistic. It's such a wonderful blend of different colors going on here. There's a nice white wash there in the sort of membrane between the shoulder and the wrist. As we move into the wrist area, you can see there's some lovely coloration going on in the wing. Individually painted finger claws and they're glossy black, really nice. I love these striations going along the wing here. These lovely folds, looks very naturalistic, like it is like a loose piece of skin, but actually it's very rigid and very strong. But the way it's been sculpted just gives it that appearance, beautiful. Underneath you can see there's some lovely striations running on clearly underneath. And you can see here transitions into this darker tip at the wing just a lovely range of colours going on all the way along this wing. As we move into the back area, you can see the shoulder blades there just meeting nicely with the spine. And then as we move to the back leg, again we've got this sort of white grey wash going on in the membrane area between uh, this part of the leg and the sort of ankle area. And you can see there we've got uh, nice individually painted toe claws, beautifully sculpted foot. And we are looking at something so, so tiny. Again, really nice membrane between the thigh and the ankle. Beautiful. As we come across here to the other side, you can see on this side the elbow is raised up. So you can see the membrane has these nice sort of folds where it's meeting that. And as we move along the arm, lovely little patterns going along here, nice little striations. Beautiful. Really nicely sculpted and painted hand claws. Nicely sculpted wing, again going into a black tip. And then we join back up with that beautiful head and that lovely distinctive crest. And I love this gradient from this dark color into this lighter color. The head for me really sells this creature. What a wonderful combination of colors and such a detailed sculpt. So just how big is this guy? Let's break out the tape measure. You're looking at about three inches long, which is about eight, nine centimeters. And then in terms of the height going up to the top of the head, you're looking at about 
just under three inches, which is about seven centimeters. Size comparison time, let's bring in the 2015 Papo Young Apatosaurus, recently reviewed on the channel, and the link is down below. You can see the Young Apatosaurus towers over the Tupuwara, but they look really nice in terms of their detail. Lovely contrasting models to choose from Papo. And here's the Tupuwara next to the Papo Dilophosaurus from 2014. Again, has been reviewed on the channel, and link is down below. I think these two really complement each other in terms of their posing. They almost look like they're roaring at each other from different angles. Very bird-like and I don't know, I like, really like this posing. This situation seems to work really well on the shelf. And lastly, here's the Tupawara next to the Baby Triceratops from 2014. Again, has been reviewed on the channel. Link is down below. But these two scale up really nicely in terms of the smaller range of Papo figurines. Interesting to note that the Tupawara isn't as glossy as the Papo Dilophosaurus or the Baby Triceratops. So this year, both the Apatosaurus and the Tupawara seem to have gone for more of a matte finish. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the 2015 Tupawara from Papo. What a fantastic little figure, packed with detail, a wonderful paint job, and just beautiful to look at. I keep on coming back to it and noticing new things, so this really is a wonderful piece to add to your collection. Okay guys, if you've got this far in the video, I want you to leave a comment down below stating which pterosaur you think Papo should do next. In the meantime, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.